either this is fixed it. I'm going to show you how I safely remove a motherboard from uh, Nexus 7 so that you can replace the motherboard on the Nexus 7 with a new version or a new working motherboard. What I need for this operation is a uh, small headed Phillips screwdriver, a pair of tweezers and uh, a plastic splodger just for something for uh, lifting things. If you haven't seen my video on how to safely open the case of a Nexus 7 and disconnect the battery then I suggest you uh, go and watch that first before you continue watching the rest of this video. As I have the case open on this Nexus I'll disconnect the battery. I do that by sliding my splurger underneath the cables and then putting my finger on top and then sliding the battery connector off. That's it, now the uh, Nexus is safe as far as power is concerned. In order to remove the motherboard there are a number of things that need to be disconnected. There's a speaker connector here underneath this piece of copper. There are a number of screws which I'll show you shortly. There's the connector for the LCD display that needs disconnecting. And there's also the connector for the uh, three buttons on the side, uh, which also needs disconnecting. There's also a ribbon cable here that needs to be disconnected, and we'll get to that. The first thing I'm going to do is to disconnect the LCD display. And you do that by placing a fingernail or my device underneath the connector and then just gently pushing that up. That's now disconnected. Likewise, for the keyboard display, you'll note that there's a little black bar and what you need to do is to just tease up that black bar like that and then use your tweezers to pull that away. Okay, that's now safe. The most difficult bit is this copper here. So what I do is I gently tease up the protective plastic film along the way. And then I make sure I grab with my hand the plastic and the copper and I gently peel that back. Keep a hand on the board to make sure the board's safe. Okay, and then peel that back as far as you can. It's still connected here, so I won't peel it any further. And now what I'm going to do is to disconnect the speaker with my screwdriver, just gently tease out the edge of the speaker connector and there we go the speaker connector is done. What we can see is that this square of black tape which is protecting this ribbon connector is lying on top of this other tape. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove that piece of tape there and we're just going to lift that up a hand on the board keeping a hand on the board and on the ribbon cable Okay, and you can put that somewhere safe, i.e. on top of the battery. Having removed the tape, what I can now do is to flick up this black bar and then gently tease out the ribbon cable. Okay, and just move that again to one side. Now what I can continue to do is to lift the rest of this black tape. And I 
grab a corner and I gently peel across. Now you'll need to hold down. Now I need to hold down the metal can which is sat on top of part of the processor here as a heat sink and a protector. And I peel that back and then I want to hold this ribbon cable under here gently so I don't tear it or pull it away. Okay, and then I can continue and peel back that entire section of sticky tape and copper and fold it over. Having disconnected the connectors, what I now need to do is to uh, remove this ribbon cable. And I do this by lifting gently the two white things at the front. And then I use my thumb to just gently pull away and the touchscreen connectors then removed. Be careful not to damage any of these parts.